Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay. Uh, now on Bounce, what do you eat when you're sick? Chicken noodle soup and crackers, right? Probably a fave. Well, this local doctor says you might want to change your routine. Want to welcome back uh, Dr. Matthew McAleese uh, from the Charlotte Health Center. Nice to see you, Dr. Matt. Thank you for having me back. Okay, so why is chicken noodle soup, which I think is sort of a fan favorite, yeah. that's what we associate with our childhood and not feeling well, why is it not always the best option? You know, the, the primary reason is the noodle. Honestly, um, so uh, bacteria and viruses survive on sugar mm. and carbs convert to sugar within mm. about five seconds. So if you remove carbs and sugar while you're sick, you starve the virus and bacteria. It's like so removing you get better faster. Exactly, because you remove mm. its fuel source. So even though it might make you feel better, ultimately you're prolonging the sickness, huh. the more sugar and carbs you eat. Bummer. Yeah. Okay, uh, so let's talk about what other foods hurt us. Other foods that hurt. Um, Really, anything that's going to have um, like preservatives and colorings, anything that's fake, mm -hmm. honestly, your body doesn't know how to assimilate it, metabolize it, doesn't know what to do with it, so it requires more energy, and that's energy you can't use to make white blood cells and heal. And get so, better. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you really want to stick with real food. Um, so let's talk about the foods that help. Perhaps okay. when you're feeling nauseous, what's the go-to based on what we got here? Perfect. So the go-to is going to be some uh, ginger okay. tea with some added lemon to it. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing that you can do is you can actually freeze the lemon and you can actually just suck on the frozen lemon slices. You can freeze lemon slices? Yep. Wow. And that'll really help okay. ease some of the, the nauseousness. Well, that so. is certainly good to know. Um, what about if you're having a little trouble, you know, constipation-wise? <laughs> okay. So on, I don't know how else to say that. I mean, once you say constipated, it's out there. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's not out there yet, but... <laughs> oh, wow. So don't bump. Yeah. So um, you really want to stick with things that have a lot of fiber. So that's going to be your vegetables and your nuts and seeds mm -hmm. are really going to help. Additionally, you know, we're going to talk about water here in a second, but water okay. really helps everything. Right. So you want to make sure you're hydrated. But other than that, fiber... Nuts, seeds, vegetables. Okay, there you go, folks. Stay regular. Uh, what about when your head hurts? Head hurts, perfect. So again, uh, we're going to come back. Most people, when they have a headache or their head hurts, they're really dehydrated. dehydrated. They really are. Mm -hmm. And that's a warning sign your body is telling you you need to get water in. If you try that and, and it doesn't clear up, something you can do, which it's really hot right now, but it really does work, is essential oils. Okay. And so if you have lavender, an essential oil of lavender, you can rub some of that on your temples. Okay. And even the, just the aromatics of it actually activate a part of your brain hmm. that release chemicals that can stimulate um, the brain and really help it ease the tension and ease the pain. Well, so it's not, it's not just... Um, you know, pseudo size. It really actually mm -hmm. works. Just like cookies or a smoke can kind of take you back to your childhood, right. this can actually work to ease a headache much okay. faster than an aspirin or Tylenol. Very cool. Um, and I think that, you know, not only do people mistake headaches for a dehydration, but also hunger. Oh, yes. For thirst. Yeah, about 50% of the time. Yeah, you're just thirsty. Uh, when it hurts to swallow. Yep. This is, a, this is a great one. So what you want to do is you also want to use... Um, Peppermint, okay. okay. So peppermint, peppermint tea. tea with lukewarm, just just barely warm water, mm. so it doesn't irritate your throat. Add a, a just a little bit of honey, and that's going to go a long way towards soothing a, a, a scratchy throat. Hmm. And I think people think that you should have something hot, and you're right. saying that it needs to be lukewarm. Yeah, lukewarm. Anything that with heat is really going to actually irritate it more. So you just want it to be lukewarm, hmm. not hot, not cold, just right in the middle. I mean, you learn something every day, folks. I hope you were listening. Uh, if you want more information on how to contact Dr. Matt, log on to WBTV.com. Look in the Web Extra section under the Home tab. We have put all of the information there. Dr. Matt, thank you so much for all of, of this great information. I always learn something new uh, whenever, whenever you come. You guys are the best. Thank you. Thank you. Delano. All right.